Hello beautiful people. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, I hope you guys are having um you guys are having an amazing Friday. Today is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah, I'm so sure most of you are planning on traveling, you know, going out tonight and um, having fun later in the evening. And um, it's good. It's good. Do whatever, what, do whatever makes you happy, guys. Yeah, do whatever makes you happy. Well, today it's just gonna be a short video. I just want to make this very, very short video. Um, I just want to show you guys um, my garden in my balcony. I'll show you the um, type of um, plants that we have, you know, in my garden. And um, I'll go right now and then um, let me just go and start um, to show you guys what we have, what we planted this time around, this summer. Um, actually, this um, plant, we've had it for like um we used it last year yeah we used this plant last year it gave us so much food last year you know so we decided to um bring it out again this year for this summer and uh, i think i need to go down so um um the plants that we have now we have um tomatoes we planted tomatoes we planted um green pepper we planted um i think we have oregano somewhere there um yeah we have oregano we have um um, this is the over there. Yeah. And we have um flour. Just normal flour. This comes out um every time and then after it blossoms and then it dies again. <laughs> Just like that. And uh, this is um you guys know this um what's the name of this plant Seth? That stocks, you know. Um oh anyways I'll come back to it and I remember the name. Um so we got lots of tomatoes that just um, sprung up. Look at them. You guys can see the tomatoes, how big they are. It was like this also last year. It was this big. And um, the funniest part of this tomato is that when it's growing, I have to... Let me go back. I have two types of tomatoes here. We have this long one. The two different plants. This long one. This shape. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it okay we have the long shape and we also have the round one which are all these ones that you guys can see so it's growing now and right there i have uh, a habanero yeah a habanero pepper yeah we have the habanero this is it so this is it it's coming out also this is the habanero pepper i have like three or four of it that is out already this is it and i've um i've tested like i've, I've tested it like two 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 or three times i've taken um the food out from it and i've also invested a lot of the green pepper look at the green pepper but one thing i noticed this year i have lots of green pepper i just harvested like five now i will go bring it i'll show you guys what I noticed about this pepper this year is that they begin to turn red, you know, they begin to turn to the red bell pepper. But throughout last year, look at it, you guys can see what I'm talking about. Throughout last year, when I when we planted this thing during the last summer, they're all green, it never turned into red, you know. But this year, it's all turning into red. Look at this one again, this one is red, you know. So, and look, look at my tomatoes. The tomatoes too they're becoming they're changing they're becoming red also you know look at the tomatoes in green pepper so oh uh, yeah i still have some here let me show you guys i still have some of the tomatoes here planted over this place so what i noticed guys this year what I noticed this year about this plant is that, um, yeah, what well, the, the uh, green peppers they're turning into proper red bell peppers, which never happened last year. They're all green, green, green. I invested all as green, and now it's turning into red. I don't know why. 
um, maybe because the plant is the soil is old or I don't know because we didn't throw it away we decided to use it again this year which you know now it's resulted into it turning into red bell peppers and then the tomatoes we had we uprooted uh, sorry we harvested lots of tomatoes last year wow it was amazing the green pepper and the tomatoes in fact we didn't buy I could say we didn't we didn't buy um, we didn't buy pepper and tomatoes throughout the summer of last year yeah it was that much it was that much for us even I had to put some in the fridge and you know it was even getting spoiled it got to a point it was getting spoiled so I really enjoyed it last year the pepper and the tomatoes so last year when we bought the abanero pepper it didn't it didn't come out it didn't come out it didn't come out all through last year it did not I was even angry <laughs> I was even angry with myself that you know this thing is not going and all that we just wasted our money to buy the the um, seeds but this year it has really surprised me I think I've invested it like I said earlier I've invested like four or five out of the um, out of the plant you know so and what I like about this thing is that um, the pepper and the tomatoes when you use them to cook is so oof, it's so fresh so so fresh it's so fresh you know straight from the farm <laughs> I think that's just what I should call it it's like you bring it straight from the farm it's um, organic yeah you know this is not mixed now it wasn't planted with um, all these chemicals to make it quickly go so it's organic it smells so fresh so fresh the tomatoes is so strong by the time it turns on by the time it turns red it's so so sweet you know it's so sweet strong sweet the green pepper too you know it has very nice smell i really enjoy it anytime i cook with it i really enjoy it so yeah that's that for that for for today so i just wanted to show you guys what sorry i wanted to show you guys what i have in my in my garden you know in my mini garden outside my balcony so if you guys have anything like this in your own house Maybe you planted some kind of um, fruit or other. Um, oh, no, and there's one thing I want to show you guys. This is supposed to be orange. <laughs> and I told my LB, why are we planting orange? Do you ever think, do, you know, do you ever think this thing is going to go? It's going to go taller than this, or, you know, do you want to turn this place into uh, like a, a, a forest, you know? I don't think we have a need for this, but you just said you should leave it there so that's why this one is there my own concern is this tomatoes and pepper because it's really popping me so yeah that's it for the video uh now i would like to know what um any one of you have in your in your mini garden or your garden you know if you planted anything like like this you can comment down below in the comment section and uh let's know the kind of plant that you you know that you planted in your own garden you understand so yeah just that for that but i need to before i go i need to first of all show you guys the um the bell pepper i just up i just um harvested now so one minute let me get it from the kitchen to show you guys how it, it is okay guys this is the one i just um harvested from the look at it let me bring it out <laughs> this is it so you guys can see what I'm talking about I really enjoy my plants <laughs> I really really enjoy it you know so this is it this is what I got now so if you like this video please you guys should um, just um, click on the subscribe button and uh, um, click on the bell notification that comes right after it and also don't forget to like comment and share I'll be watching for you guys um, comment down about what you guys have in your own gardens so until next time when i come your way again it's um have a lovely friday and have a lovely weekend ahead bye for now see you in my next video guys bye <laughs> mm.